Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 31. Today is our day number 31. We are in the process of learning how to add and subtract like terms. On the first 20 days we did, uh, we learned how to evaluate algebraic expressions. Now we are learning how to add and subtract like terms. And that's what we're going to do for the next 20 days. And then the following 20 days, day number, it should say, this has changed now. Instead of 31, it will begin at 41. 41 through 60 rather. 41 through 60, we'll learn how to multiply algebraic expressions. The first problem is already on the blackboard. We are asked to find the sum of these three expressions. So we have to make sure that we line up the like terms. And the convention in algebra is that, convention in the language of algebra is that, when you have an expression with all the variables, you, you are expected to write the variables in the alphabetical order. So we can honor the convention, we can honor the tradition. This 2AB goes first, then BC, then AC. Because B comes next, and then even though this A is there, but the C is the last one there. 3AB minus 4BC plus 5AC, A times C. And finally, the third expression, 5BC, positive 5BC, negative 7AB, and then negative 2AC. Let's add them up, see what we get. This one has a positive side in front of it, right here. This one has a positive side in front of it. 2AB, where did this come from? That one was this one, 2AB. And then 3AB was this one, right here, the positive sign. And 5BC, right there, that you see the positive sign. So here we have plus 2 and plus 3, that's 5. 5 minus 7 is 2AB, ne negative 2AB. Then we have 4 plus 5 is 8, 8 minus 4 is 4, 4BC. Four and then we have seven, negative 7 and negative 2 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 5 will be negative 4, negative 4AC. Four that's it, that's your answer negative 2AB plus 4BC minus 4AC. There you go. Let's do the next one. That's it, we're done. Let's do the next one. One more. We are given 7E minus 17D minus 3F 4F plus 4D minus 5E negative 8D plus 3E minus 9F Again, in order to find the sum we have to make sure that we add all the likes them together in other words, all the D's have to be added together, all the E's have to be added together, and so forth. So the very first thing we have to do is make sure they line up properly. So, then, so line them up properly. So here we have, again, we're going to honor the tradition, we're going to go in alphabetical order, because that's the way you are expected to do. So D goes first, negative 17, negative 17 D, then E, then F. Then we have... 4D plus 4D, D, E, then we have 5E, and then F. And then again, D, negative 8, D, E, and F. Now we can add them up. They are written, they are lined up properly, the, all the like terms are lined up properly. So now we can go ahead and add them. 
negative 17 and negative 8, 17 and 8 make 25, except they have negative sign in front of them. And then a positive 4 will give us negative 21 D. Here we have positive 7 and a positive 3, that's positive 10, minus a 5 is positive 5. And then finally, we have negative 3 and a negative 9, a negative 3 and a negative 9, that's negative 12, and then positive 4, it gives us negative 8, negative 8 F. And that's it. That's all there is. We're done with that problem. We're done for the lesson for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 32. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, you can send me an email or call me up on the toll-free number that you find on these website addresses. You can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email or you can go to kashmaniprep.com and send me an email from there or call me up on the phone line 1-800-808-PREP, uh, P-R-E-P-PREP. You'll find the phone number on the website. Okay? Thanks.